After eight and a half years of trying to be a professional screenwriter, I finally sold my first screenplay, which went from conception to sale in under two weeks. Hi, my name's Jeff Howard, and you might know me from TV shows like Haunting of Hill House, or Midnight Mass, or movies like Oculus or Ouija Origin of Evil. Today I want to talk to you about the absolutely insane way that I sold my very first screenplay and became a professional writer. Like everybody else who does this job, I dreamed about it since I was a little kid. I over-romanticized it. I made it such a big journey to move and go to a dream factory and live my life that I think I overthought it so much that when it finally happened for me, it came out of one quick burst of inspiration with barely any time to think even about it before it happened. It entered into the system and it made it through. All through the 90s, my best friend Chris Butler and I worked together as a writing team trying to break in and be Hollywood writers. We finally made it in July of 1999, but it was a really long and circuitous path to get there. We worked every single day on screenplays. We cranked out 15 or 16 scripts over the course of seven or eight years of working together really intensely in a closed room and just having a fantastic time. Of course, we never went back to rewrite any of those scripts, but that's a problem to address another day, right? It was the early days of the internet Everyone in the world's email address was their own name at AOL.com and we tracked down agents and managers and producers all through AOL in a way that was just hilarious and we sparked friendships with them and got to know them and we would travel to Los Angeles and we set up meetings and we would go and pitch all the material that we had and we were too green to ever bother to rehearse or to lay out what the pitch would be. We always just assumed that we would go into the room and something magic would happen and then literally after eight and a half years of working together almost every day, we went into a room and for one time some magic actually happened. We went in to see an executive named Brad Luff who worked at a company called Original Film owned by Neil Moritz. Um, Neil Moritz still there, Original still there, making really huge Hollywood movies just like he was doing back then 24 years ago. And we went into this meeting with Brad Luff who turned out to be a sweet guy, really lovable, very smart, very fun, a little too handsome for our taste, but what could we do? And we sat down and we were talking to him and we went through our list of five ideas. All, all we put together was five one-liners to walk into this room. And we went through four of them and he was dismissive and just wasn't that interested and kept telling us all the reasons they wouldn't work for marketing and wouldn't work for so many other things that finally we were getting discouraged. And there was a fifth idea on the list. I will admit that it was an idea of Butler's. It was not an idea that I was a huge fan of. I thought it was really strange. Even worse, at the time it was named after an Aerosmith song and I was just never a fan and it just really annoyed me that we had to go name this Aerosmith song every time we would talk about this idea. But Brad, loved it. He just went crazy and his mind started sparking to this thing and we started sparking back and we pitched back and forth so many ideas over the course of that first meeting in one hour that when we left the meeting Brad said listen I, I know you guys live in Baltimore go on home write up an outline send me the outline and we'll continue the conversation from there and we thought wow fantastic we've flown out to LA so many times by this time We'd been going for three or four years at this time, for a week at a time, various meetings. We finally left with something really concrete. But then we found out we had a problem. When we got back to Baltimore on that Monday morning that followed the meeting, we both realized we had no single idea how to write an outline between the two of us. We didn't know what to do, and we figured at that point we were most likely dead in the water. We had to sit there at my dad's accounting office in his spare room in Glen Burnie, Maryland, and figure out how we were going to write an outline that was going to make Neil Moritz and Brad Luff at Original Film happy. And as we sat there, feeling the flop sweat on a Monday morning, we both realized that we knew nothing about movie structure, despite having spent the last eight years working on trying to write screenplay after screenplay. We knew nothing about outlining, despite reading every single book that we could get our hands on about the craft of movie making and screenwriting in particular. We really had no skill set to sit down and do this job. So we completely abandoned the idea of writing an outline, and we shifted gears and we started to write a draft. And we started at about 10.30 or 11 o'clock on Monday morning, and we wrote until five or six every single day. Butler paced back and forth. I sat and typed. He threw things out. I added to them. By the time it was all done, it was a synthesis of both voices in such a fun way. Then each day, we ended up cranking out about 25 pages. Monday, 25 pages on Tuesday, 25 pages on Wednesday. We came in Thursday feeling a little bit nervous because it was like, could we really finish this thing? Like, Could this actually happen and we could turn in a draft that we were happy with? because we were really happy with it, although we didn't want to admit it to ourselves. And we came in that last day and we were just miserably scared. And we sat down and we typed and we typed and we couldn't get anywhere. 
until Butler slipped out to the store and bought a giant bottle of Glenlivet and returned back to my dad's office and we sat there and suddenly it came alive and the ending came together and the thing was sillier but yet more heartfelt than it had ever been before and it was really one of the biggest high moments I've ever had in my career. It was so fun and when we were done we just beat the FedEx deadline because it was July of 1999 and if PDFs existed at that time, we didn't know about it in Glen Burnie, Maryland. We wrote this draft, we printed it out, we FedExed it to our manager who was going to get it Friday morning at 10 and we crossed our fingers and waited to see what would happen.